I had a bunch of air plants, bought like a hundred, killed them all. <laughs> now I have two spider plants and they are struggling. I thought those were indestructible. That's what people say. <laughs> and I told my mom. But not in your hands. I told my mom and she went to school for horticulture. Okay. And I'm like, mom, what do I do? What do I do? Like, how do I keep these alive? And she's like, sometimes they just die. <laughs> Sounds like a like analogy just about life in general. They just die. Sometimes I mean, it would be fitting. Me and my mom talk about like death and death planning a lot. Really? So, yeah. Why? She loves it. She likes to talk about death. Yeah. Why? It's I, just. I mean, you need to be prepared. Do you have a death plan? No. You need to be prepared. Well, I mean, like for my own death. Your death, the people around you. Yeah. I mean, I know I want to be cremated, but. Um and mourned heavily, and a <laughs> lot of heavily. people. <laughs> I want funeral. a lot of sorrow. I want a lot of sorrow. Yeah. If I die, y'all better be like really sad about it. <laughs> but otherwise, no. I plan to live a long time. See, mm. I have a f- huge fear of death. Oh, death that's why you got to like, talk about death more. Death is like something that freaks it. me out. I don't like things ending. I like the finality of it and not being here for stuff. Is it's a bit perturbing to think about. Yeah, but I think it's. You know, death has been a part of my life, and I think that it's important to accept that and plan for it. Is that because you work in animal rescue? <laughs> no. And you hospice? No, it, it's not necessarily like people dying. To, like animals dying is also sad, but people dying. I think you need to plan more for, for that because you have a, a larger body to do yeah. yeah, Yeah, that's true. But my mom and I talked about um, her death plan, and she wants to have a natural burial. But she lives like way out in the boonies. And I looked and I'm like, the nearest place is like four hours, mom. I'm gonna have to like road trip with your dead body and like a pickup truck or something. And she's like, that's fine. We can end up Bernie's. And I'm like, okay, mom. Like she's very, very death positive. Very death positive. Very. Uh, you know what's so funny is we haven't officially started the podcast yet, but I feel like what we've been talking about is such gold that I think that this should be included. Yeah. In the main podcast. I don't know when you're going to like start it, but I think <laughs> it should start with the death positive conversation yeah. because I'm, I mailed her a bunch of like death related books, too. And she's like super into them. And this like ask mortician lady on YouTube she loves. And yeah. Wow. So, by the way, people, I'm interviewing <laughs> Bunny Colby. Yes. And uh, we, we've had a very cheerful start to our conversation. Yeah, talking about death things. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I kind of want to go back to the death thing because now I'm, yeah. like, really fascinated. Mm-hmm. Ask a mortician. Yes. What kind of questions would you ask a mortician? And I, I need to check out this person's YouTube channel. Uh, her YouTube's amazing. It's so good. She talks about, like, you know, like, questions people post to her and then big, like, death-related events or things like that. But it's... It's just, there's a lot of stuff. And my mom was watching her YouTube channel and saw that cremation isn't actually as green as people think it is. And my mom was like, oh, well, I want to have a natural burial. And the YouTube lady, like, sort of espouses natural burial is, like, one of the better options we have right now. So that's what my mom likes to do. So by a natural burial, does that Mm -hmm. mean you just bury her straight in the ground, like no coffin or anything like Um, that? You can do, like... A compostable one or one that's just like plain wood or you can do like a shroud um but the main thing you have to look at is most of the natural burial cemeteries you can't embalm because you need to just decompose right yeah, yeah yeah of course so then probably no open casket funerals i mean you could if you do it like really quickly <laughs> not even really quickly if if you watch the youtube lady too she'll tell you like embalming isn't super necessary mm-hmm. if you're gonna have a funeral relatively soon enough after and it hasn't been like this huge traumatic death like you Mm. probably don't need to embalm uh so no embalming you know nothing she's also like i feel like i also know a lot about like my mom's like end of life wishes as well yeah like no extreme measures like i my mom and i are very very close so (laughs) A, a, a creepy intimate relationship in that way i i know way too much about what she wants for death but wow hopefully it's a long way off people in her family live a very long time okay so that's good so yeah. lots of time to plan yeah i mean her uh her grandmother just passed away and she was 102 oh, shit. and uh her grandmother's father passed away when he was 107 so hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon 
At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.